हेलो बेटा गुड इवनिंग टुडे आई विल बी टेकिंग वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जे एन यू पास दिस इज जे एन यू टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर वन बेटा जे एन यू एस 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 हाँ प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन ध्यान से क्वेश्चन को पढ़ेंगे हम क्या कहते हैं क्वेश्चन इफ पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ रेट इंक्रीजेस बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट इन टेन ईयर्स इट इज इंक्रीजिंग बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट इन टेन ईयर्स The annual exponential growth rate of population is तो population का annual exponential growth rate कितना होगा मतलब basically हमें compound growth rate निकालना है population का और बताया गया है कि population जो है वो twenty percent से बढ़ चुकी है ten years में let's read out the question बेटा so what I can do in this case is that I can just say that the final answer this is a function of x it's a function of time The so you know a simple way may you can write this like this also that principal into one plus r to the power t this is going to be your final value that you will be having the final answer that you will be having. So take an example. But suppose me, I am telling you that you have hundred rupees with you. You have hundred rupees. Your principal amount is hundred. And now I am telling you that it has increased by twenty percent. So, but what will happen after ten years? After ten years, you will definitely have these hundred rupees with you. Ye hundred to apke pas rehenge hi rehenge. But there will be an increase by twenty percent. Ye twenty percent se bad jayenge. So twenty percent of hundred will be twenty. So the new amount that you will be having that will become one twenty. So after ten years, ten saal ke baad, jo paisa apke pas hoga, the money that you will be having. Will be one twenty after ten years. The money that you will be having will be one twenty. ये clear हो गई बात एकदम बेटा. So this is what I have written here that after ten years the money that I will be having will be one twenty. So बेटा यहाँ पर instead of final amount I will replace this with one twenty. My initial amount was hundred. I don't know the interest interest rate rate per year. Saal ka interest rate mujhe hai. And I I know know that I know that the time period is ten years. T is ten. It's for ten period, ten years, right? Now I just have to go ahead and I just have to solve this equation for the value of R. Listen to me very carefully. Beta, this is your amount after ten years. This is the amount that you have invested. ये बच्चे आपने invest किया हुआ पैसा है. This is the time period, the number of years. हाँ बेटा. And this is your interest rate. This is your R. Return per year. Right बेटा. Clear हुई ये बात. Now you have to solve for the value of R. So let us just go ahead and solve this equation. The best way to solve this equation will be to take log on both sides. So I have taken ln one twenty will be ln hundred one plus R to the power ten. I can do one more thing before I take log. I can just take hundred on the other side, beta. So one twenty divided by hundred. Will be equal to one plus r to the power ten. It means, बच्चे one point two will be one plus r to the power ten. Now you can go ahead and take log on both side. अब बेटा, so you will get log one plus two, not log. I'm taking natural log. हाँ, uh, is equal to ln one plus r to the power ten. Right, बेटा. So you will have ln one plus two is equal to ten ln one plus r. Beta, here I have used this rule. यहाँ पे मैंने ये rule use किया है. What's my rule? My rule is that log m to the power n is n log m. I have used this rule. ये ही rule हमने यहाँ पे use किया. हाँ बच्चे. So I will get ln one point two divided by ten is equal to ln one plus r. But when you will solve this side, when you will solve this side, 
देन यू विल गेट द आंसर एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एट तो जब आप इसमें कैलकुलेटर में सॉल्व करोगे यू विल गेट दिस एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एट दिस विल बी एल एन वन प्लस आर नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव लॉग इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रिमूव लॉग आई विल टेक इट टू द बेस ई हाँ बेटा सो ई टू द पावर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एट विल बी वन प्लस आर सो फ्रॉम हियर बच्चे माई आर विल बी ई टू द पावर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एट माइनस when you will solve this when you will find e to the power 0.018 you will get approximately 1.018 when you will just take this one on the other side jab aap is one se isko subtract kar doge when you will take this one on the other side you will get rs 0.018 beta 100 se multiply karenge for percentage so this will give you 1.8% 1.8 is less than 2% na so the answer to this question will be that it will be less than 2% so answer to this question will be c less than 2% okay beta thank you